Gomez, you will not believe who I met today. Who was it, my love? Another woman here who grows her own man-eating plants. She was truly wicked. I invited her over to meet ours on Thursday. Oh, how terrifying. You know, I met a friend myself today. Oh yes? What was he like? He's a scientist. His name's either Dr. Crane or Dr. Crow. At first I thought he was an Adams because he had this weird lumpy face, but that turned out to be a mask. Anyway, he says he has this spray that he can use on us and we will experience our worst fears wherever we are in the world. How truly horrifying. When can we try it? I invited him over for dinner on Friday. Marvelous. Now, on a slightly happier topic, have you heard of this other character around here, the Joker? Oh yes, I don't know how I feel about him. He's too colorful. Somehow he manages to make pain and suffering seem bright and jovial. Oh, I totally agree, but this is why I like that other guy, the Bat. He makes boring things like calmness and security seem like dark and depressing. Exactly, and he's the one that they call a hero. These people do truly get us. Hello, Morticia, my love. Have you seen the children? Because there is a giant crocodile monster causing damage downtown, and I do not think they'd want to miss it. Oh, I'm sorry, Gomez. Wednesday's locked Pugsley in the stockades upstairs, and she herself has stepped out for a hunt with her new suitor. New suitor? Not another terribly good young man, I hope. Gomez, please, have more faith in your daughter. The boy seems to have a very healthy love for both death and darkness. Well, I would hope so if he's out hunting with our little Wednesday. Apparently, they're quite good partners for it. She says his swords are the natural complement to her crossbow. Oh, another swordsman. Fantastic. We shall duel at once. Now, who is this child? The new Wayne child, Damien. Oh yes, I've met him. Very gloomy, very dark. A perfect fit for our little Wednesday. How does he get along with the rest of the family? I'm not quite sure, but apparently he was very excited to learn that most of Wednesday and Pugsley's playtime together involved forms of torture. He also said that Lurch reminded him of his own butler and that Grandma reminded him of someone called Auntie Harley. How very interesting. When he gets back, we should have him invite his family and the butler and this Auntie Harley over for a meal sometime. Couldn't agree more, but I do have to run now because I have to pick up Fester from this day spot he found at this terrifying little place called Arkham. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry, where are my manners? The name's Gomez Adams, of the Adams family, you know, da na na na. You're a wizard. No, nah, it's just something fun that happens sometimes, though. So can I ask you a question real quick? Are those your real ears? What? No, this, this is a cowl. Oh, well, that's disappointing, but don't worry. I'm sure you look equally scary without the costume as well. I, okay, whatever. What are your intentions in my city? I'm not sure I follow. You've been meeting with all of the villains. Who are the villains? Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, the people whose whole lives revolve around causing pain and suffering. What do you want with them? We would like to experience some pain and suffering. I, are you serious? Oh, absolutely. And I must say, they're absolutely amazing to have around the house. Ivy just adores Morticia's garden, and Scarecrow's threatened to cut us off of fear toxin, but between you and me, I think I can convince him not to. You're serious. You enjoy getting tortured by these madmen. Yes, obviously, don't you? It's, it's such a thrill. You have children, don't you? Oh yes, but don't worry. Some torture is just for family. Okay, Gomez, Ivy and Crow are one thing, but there are some people here who are truly twisted, truly wicked, and dangerous. Yeah, we are counting on that. I, I don't think you're understanding me. With all due respect, Mr. Bat, I think it's you who don't understand me. We love this place. The architecture, the darkness, the violence, the risk, the gloominess, the style. I also love bats. I don't love bats. They terrify me. I dress like this so I can terrify others. You dress like the one thing that makes you the most uncomfortable in an attempt to share that glorious pain with others? I, I feel like we'd be good friends. Hello? Ive? Anyone home? Can I help you, dear? Oh, hello. Which lady? I'm sorry, I saw that half the house had been conquered by man-eating plants and I kind of just assumed my girlfriend had moved in. Oh, you must be Harley. Ivy's told me so much about you. Oh, so you do know Ivy. See, I knew we played for the same team. This whole place just smells of a lair. Well, that is certainly how we like to think of it. So what's your thing, huh? What's your shtick? I see darkness and doom and gloom. You're trying to beat the bat at his own game or something? Oh, no, we appreciate the bat's sense of style, but we're not trying to beat him at anything. Well, except for Gomez, who's upstairs right now fencing him. Who's Gomez? My husband. Husband? No, okay. See, I thought I pegged you, but that's okay. We can still be friends. Did you say the bat is here? Yes, he's upstairs. Gomez has challenged him to ritual combat, and they seem to be having a grand old time. Well, good for him. He needs a new outlet that's not just fucking bats, but I've got to go because I literally just broke out of Arkham. Oh, Arkham Asylum. Our Uncle Fester was just there. Wait a minute, Fester? Was he like a big guy, blue, with a bald head, and would sing when he got punched, and often talk about how beautiful the dankness of Arkham was? That certainly sounds like our Uncle Fester. He's your uncle? He is somebody's uncle. This is a very interesting family you've got here, and Zombie Alfred? Oh, that's Lurch. She's off to go feed Lucy. And Lucy is... Oh, our lion, of course. I'm sorry, you have a man-eating lion, a zombie Alfred, a murder garden, and the bats fencing upstairs? Yes, that is correct. 
Huh, what's your name again? Morticia Adams. Well, Morticia, I think you're exactly what this town's been missing. Gotta go. Come back anytime. This place is fucking spooky. I know, right? It's great. Jesus, kid, where did you come from? Sometimes I just hide in shadows. I really wish that was a less common sentence in my life. Now you might want to clear out. I've been tracking Killer Croc and I think he's somewhere in this house. What's a Killer Croc? Uh, he's a, he's a Killer Crocodile. He's like an eight foot behemoth crocodile man. Hmm. What, did you see him? I don't think so, but I don't know if I would have noticed. You wouldn't have noticed the eight foot behemoth crocodile man? We have a lot of people here. With scales? Some of them. Also, there's a chance Wednesday took him as a pet, but she's not here right now. Who is Wednesday? She's my sister. Who's your dad? Calendar man? Maybe? I don't think so. He's more into trains than calendars. Do you have a train man? What are you- uh, Look, we're gonna take a few steps back. Kid, why are you here? I live here. You live where? In this house. Nobody lives in this house. I do. By yourself? Are you an orphan? God damn it if I found another orphan. No, with my family, except my sister's never around anymore. Okay, look, I'll bite the bullet and ask you about your sister in a second, but real quick, are you telling me that you and your family live here in the decrepit mansion on the Gotham graveyard? Yes, it's prime real estate. Sure, living in the graveyard house, the world capital of hauntings. Yeah, that's what makes it prime real estate. Whatever, why are you mad about your sister? She's just never around anymore because she's always with her new boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry, that totally sucks. Really something that should definitely keep you from noticing giant green crocodile men. Oh, would you relax about that? Your friend's probably playing with Lucy. Who's Lucy? Our lion. What? Anyway, her boyfriend thinks she's so cool just because he knows more about torture and pain and death than I do. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, he's like an assassin or something and he can hunt with a katana and now she spends all her time torturing him and not me. This this boyfriend of hers, is, is he about this high with like black hair? Yeah. God damn it, Damien. Oh, you know him? Yeah, yeah, I did. he's my little brother. Oh, did you guys also used to bond through torturing each other? No, of course. Yeah, no, we did. Wednesday, my darling, we're here to pick you up. Um, excuse me? Gomez, does, does Wednesday look older to you? Sort of. Wednesday, have you been aging? Also, is that a new cowl? I adore it. Absolutely gloomy. Uh, t today is Tuesday. Morticia, I don't believe this is Wednesday. I, I just told you it was Tuesday. No, darling, Wednesday is our daughter. You confused me for your own daughter? Well, in our defense, this is not really a common occurrence. Yes, there are not many people who dress or act like Wednesday, let alone children. I'm a teenager. Oh, you misunderstand us, darling. We are so happy that more children are embracing darkness. Again, teen. What is your family, child? You must be an atom. I, I can assure you I'm not. Where are you from? Hell. Really? I mean, essentially. We know people that. Who's your father? Trigon, the demon. You don't know him. I keep him right here on my head. Oh, that's amazing. Gomez. It it's really not. It sucks a lot. Yes, but imagine a demon right on your head. We have some family that are ghosts, but that, that's next level. Hello, Adamses, come out, come out wherever you are. Morticia, there's a strangely garish painted man with a bright suit in our living room. You, are you one of these new Adamses? Well, the Adams is actually a very old line with a rich history, but you're making a play for my city. I, I don't know what that means. We love this city. I know you've been meeting with all of my little stooges. We meet with a lot of people. This city is just filled with amazing characters. Who are the stooges? Ivy, Harley, Crow, Freeze. Oh, you mean the villains? Oh, you've been talking to the bat. Well, yes, is he one of yours? Delightful fellow, captures our style beautifully. In a drab, boring style, that is. Excuse me? It'll be better, though, once I remodel it, paint some clown faces over there, kill that hideous garden. I say again, excuse me? Or lair, old sport, I'm taking it. You should have known that no one gets to win against me in this town. But this home is for the Adamses. We've already moved all of the corpses here ourselves. Oh, don't try to scare me, boy. I've done some terrible things, but they'll pale in comparison to what I'm about to do to you. It's far too late for those sort of niceties. I think you better go. I'm sorry, what? Large thing, we have an unwanted visitor. Is that a zombie Alfred? And <laughs> what the hell is this? That's thing, wonderful swordsman, better strangler. Take him away, please. I know you have children. I'll torture them. No, no, you've lost your chance for that. Now don't try and butter me up anymore. Please leave. You really are insane. No, I'm an Adams. The only downside to living in a house that's filled with ghosts is that it's always just so cold. No, my young friend, that's just me. I'm sorry, did you say young? 
Um, I've just broken into your house and that's the question. Well, it's just kind of, you know, no one ever refers to me as young. How old are you? Definitely older than I used to be. Uh, do you have blue skin? Oh, that's a common misconception. I'm just really pale. Ah, see, that's what I thought. People make the same mistake about me all the time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the benefit of the doubt that this isn't you, Batman. Batman? You think I'm Batman? No, I'm Uncle Fester. You're Batman's uncle? I'm somebody's uncle. Are you related to Batman? Maybe the jury's still out, but he definitely feels like an Adams, right? I, what's an Adams? I am. Or what? An Adams. This is the Adams house with the Adams family. You know, da 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 da. How did you? Don't ask questions. It's just a thing that happens now. Why did you think I was Batman? This is a giant gothic mansion on a graveyard in Gotham. Who else would live here? The Adams family. Da 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 da. Stop doing that to me. Sorry, you're right. I'm asking way too much about my family. You were the guest. Who are you? I'm Mr. Freeze. The New England Freezes? Of what? No, that's not even my real name. That's my villain moniker. Oh, you are a villain. We're friends with some of those. We don't like the Joker, though. Nobody likes the Joker. Really? Yeah, he's the worst. Anyway, my wife, the person I care more about in this world than anything else, came down with a rare disease, so I have her frozen until I can find a cure. Oh, I get it. So you took to a life of costume crime in order to raise funds. Well, yes, and I know it can sound a bit strange. No, that's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. I, wait, really? Yes, honestly, I'm quite moved. You don't think that it's a little not thought out? No, it makes perfect sense to me. Thank you. See, everyone's always like, there are better ways. No, I think I'd do the same exact thing if the love of my life was sick. You have no idea how reassuring that is to hear. Now, who's the lady in your life? The moon. Oh. Would you unhand me, you foul beast? I demand to speak to the master of the house. Well, my wife's not here right now, but I can do my best. The name's Gomez Adams. Gomez, huh? Are you the head of the Adams family? Oh, uh, while Morticia's away and Grandmama can't hear. And does this monstrous being work for you? Yes, of course. That's our butler, Lurch, but he's really more a part of the family. I see. Well, Mr. Adams, you better know that this is my town you've moved into. Would you believe you're the third person to tell me that? You've been speaking to the bat and the clown? Yes, of course. Adore the bat. The clown, on the other hand. Well, those two have their own little game, and as far as I'm concerned, they can play it as long as they like. As long as everyone remembers that when the money needs to be flowing, there's only one man in town who calls the shots. And that man would be... The Penguin! Right, right, and where is this penguin? I'm the penguin! <laughs> My friend, no, I know many penguins. Some of my favorite cousins are penguins, and you, you are no penguin. Listen, I fund the underworld here. I run the organized crime, and I have enough problems on my hands with the lunatics in this city. I don't need some newcomer trying to push in on my turf. My friend, Mr. Erroneously Named Penguin, no one is trying to get in the way of your business. Don't play coy with me, Adams. I know you've been buying off my goons. My word, there are so many interesting names for people around here. What is a goon? The enforcers, the knights of my empire, people like Freeze. Oh, this man Freeze, does he have beautifully pale skin and just a wonderfully gloomy demeanor? Yes, he also wears an exosuit that keeps his temperatures in the negatives. Right, okay, so I do think he stopped by here the other day, had a conversation with Fester, told him the most romantic story that either of us had ever heard. His wife is sick, you know, so he took to a life of crime to try and pay for her treatment. I know, and pursuing that money is why he works for me. Oh, well, after we heard the story, we were so moved that we just gave him the money. I, yeah, I know, that's why I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry, where are my manners? Do you also need money? Not from the likes of you, I am a kingpin. I thought you said you were a penguin. Listen, just stop paying off my men, or you'll see the business side of this. Oh, that sounds absolutely delightful, and with an umbrella? I... No, this is no normal umbrella, okay? It's got a sword and a gun. Really? Now that is fascinating. I've never dueled a man with an umbrella before. I'll stay on my good side and you won't have to. Stay right there. I'll go run and get my sword right now. We can have it out. No, Mr. Adams, this is a threat. Yes, I'm aware. Hold on one second. Father, I've made a new friend, and I think it appropriate that you should meet him. Ah, yes, the young Damien boy, right? Let him step up, face the old man. No, not him. This is a new one. He only crawled out of the graves this morning. Oh, he's from the graveyard. Fantastic. You should have mentioned he was an ancestor. I'm not quite sure he is. The only member of our family he seems to resemble is Lurch. Solomon Grundy. Oh, see, there he is now. Oh, my, I must say, sir, you look fantastic. I think a piece of you is falling off. Amazing. Born on a Monday. Well, that's a fun fact. You know, I named my daughter Wednesday. Actually, Father, I believe he's just reciting the old nursery rhyme. Which old nursery rhyme, darling? You know. Solomon Grundy. Born on a Monday. Christened on Tuesday, got married on Wednesday, fell ill on Thursday. Oh yes, grew worse on Friday, died on Saturday, and buried on Sunday. Yep, one of my favorite ones, though I've always been a bigger fan of The weekend. Am I not also named after this poem? No, 
No, no, you were named after the nursery rhyme that goes, Wednesday's child is full of woe. Oh, that is more apt. Yes, well, your mother is a genius when it comes to naming and everything else. Now, giant Mr. Grey Man, are you the mythical Solomon Grundy who lived entirely in one week or some other sort of fantastical visitor? Solomon Grundy. Ah, splendid. Nice to meet you. Congrats on starting your cycle again. It is also Monday. I should point out that the grave he crawled out of said Cyrus Gold. Cyrus Gold? Oh my, where is our hospitality? Wednesday, please take Mr. Grundy slash Gold and show him to the finest room that we have. That would be Thing's room. Oh yes, well, he'll have to make do. Why the sudden passion, father? Mr. Gold is the man who died and left this amazing mansion on the market. Again, sir, we must thank you for how decrepit it is. It feels just like home, so lovely. And we are so glad that you've chosen to join us here after all. Oh, I see. Well, right this way, Mr. Gold. Solomon Grundy. Let's call him as he wants to be called Wednesday. My apologies, Mr. Grundy. Show him to the rest of the family immediately. It's important that we all greet our host. Lurch especially, I think you'll love to see him. Oh, hello there. Is that you, Mr. Grundy? Having some nice time curled into a ball, I see. Yeah, I like to schedule mine usually around three o'clock. I is Grundy? Well, now I'm not quite sure. You seem to be a completely different giant white behemoth man. He is not bizarro. Well, if you say so, though I will point out there's nothing wrong with being a little bizarre. Oh. He is not from Metropolis. And thank heaven for that. You know, we considered moving there just recently, but it was far too bright and safe. Are you not the Adams? Oh, no, yes I am. I'm Gomez Adams of the Adams family. <laughs> da -na -na -na. Oh, what? That's, that's never happened before. I think I understand what's going on now. Bizarro hears terrible thing about the Adams. Yes, well, we, Adamses, are very not happy to already not have gotten that reputation. Adamses are not... Friends? Adamses are the worst friends you'll ever have. This is a very bad house. Oh yes, do you like it? How do you feel about the dark and the gloomy? Me hates it. Right, and what about pain and suffering and torture? Me hates that too. Well then, it is your unlucky day because we just so happen not to have an extra room. It's not for me? Nope, now don't follow me. I do not think you're gonna fit right in. You're welcome. Yes, you are, old friend. Hello, are you the young master Adams? Oh, yes, I- Lurch? D did you just tell me to lurch? What has happened to you, old friend? You look positively lively. Who did this to you? Oh, yes, I did hear that you had a zombie version of me, but as you can see, I am very well alive. Don't you worry, old friend. We can fix that thing, my saber! No, that will not be necessary. I meant to say that your lurch is still dead and well, and I am a completely different person named Alfred Pennyworth. Oh, so you're the famous Alfred. Yes, a lot of people have been mentioning you. Well, I do have quite the reputation. It would certainly seem so. Well, tell me how I can help you. I'm here to invite you for a dinner at Wayne Manor. I accept. Though you do have to forgive me, I am new to the neighborhood, and is that a place? I, are you serious? Yes, Wayne Manor. Where Where would that be, roughly? Is it near that day spa, uh, Arkham? It, it's the home of Bruce Wayne. Right. Who is the richest man in Gotham? Um, but one of the richest men in Gotham. Interesting. Does he have a mansion too? Yes. Does it also have a giant hole in the side of it filled with ferocious plants? Regrettably, yes, for the moment. Well, then my family will certainly adore it, though I must ask, why the invitation? Because there seems to be a romance developing between your daughter and Master Wayne's son. Oh, why didn't you tell me you were talking about the bat? He's a good friend. Of course we'll be at the dinner. How do you know that Bruce Wayne is Batman? Um, it, his son is dating my daughter? But how did you know that Damien was Robin? Oh, because I still have the function of my eyes. Are you sure you're not dead? You were able to deduce just from looking at him? Well, yes, but also because of his general personality and he holds a sword and also I've met the Bat. Have you told anybody else about Damien being Robin? I mean, I doubt it. It doesn't really strike me as something that needed to be said, but if I did, it would only be to those who have visited this house, people who I completely trust. Like who? You know, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, Dr. Free, Oh, I'm gonna need to buy a new shotgun. Hey, Wednesday, I thought I might find you around here. Oh, hello, Damien. Yes, I love to start off most of my days in the graveyard. You never know what you might find. Mr. Grundy crawled out from that one just over there. Oh, Grundy's back. That's good to know. I'll tell Father. Speaking of, it seems he's recently invited my family over for dinner. Oh, really? That's actually kind of bizarre. Him and Gomez must be really hitting it off, you know, because Father does not have a lot of friends that aren't his children. Really? He seems like quite the socialite. No, that's all an act. His only real friends are like Gordon and Alfred, and Alfred's kind of his dad. He keeps his father figure as a butler. Alfred likes it. Well then, good for them. Though I will say that I don't think this dinner is so much the result of the friendship of our fathers, as it is them realizing that you and I have formed some sort of romantic connection. 
I'm sorry, we did what? A romantic connection. Surely a boy with your level of deduction skills has recognized it? Yes, of, of course I have. I'm just surprised to hear you mentioning it. You strike me much more as a girl who likes skulls than hearts. Oh, I certainly am. You've seen my skull collection, but you know, I don't see the two as mutually exclusive. My whole family is filled with romantics. Really? Well, mine, mine is not. Your father doesn't routinely profess how much he loves your mother? I, that, that's a whole situation. Interesting. Well, I look forward to meeting your family. Yes, well, I should probably apologize for some of them in advance. My older brother, Dick, will probably try to tell you a joke. Oh, how horrible. How do you usually get out of it? By reminding him that I'm the blood son, though, I'm sure just threatening him with bodily harm will do the trick. I am excited for you to come over, though. I can show you the cave. You have a cave. Yeah, you'll love it. It's dark and dank and filled with mysterious objects and wild animals. Well, that sounds very romantic indeed. Okay. Cool. So, I will see you then? Well, I was about to go on a hunt if you want to come along, though I guess you might have to go home to fetch your sword. What? Oh, no, I have my- I kind of just carry it around. Hiya, Morticia! You look ravishing as usual. Oh, well, hello, Harley. What brings you back around? Not much. Boredom, mostly. I also brought my pet cheetah. Thought she might want to meet your lion. Oh, yes, I'm sure they'll be good friends. Now, you're welcome to stay as long as you like, but I do have to run out to Wayne Manor. Wayne Manor? Do all you rich folks just hang out together, or are you trying to make a play on Bruce? Harley, I'm a happily married woman. No, I, I didn't mean like that. I meant more like you trying, you know. Well, there might be time for some light torture after dinner, I suppose. Oh, dinner. Yeah, that is fancy. No, see, I was talking more about, like, kidnapping. Every villain tries it at some point. Do you consider my family to be villains? Well, uh, if, if the layer and the eccentric costumes fit. Yes, I guess our decor does put us in common with a certain subset of people here. Yeah, plus, you know, your love for violence and death. Everybody loves those things. Sure, everybody cool. You're in good company. Isn't that why you hang out with all of us? So we certainly do enjoy having you so-called villains around the house, so I guess I won't reject the term. Exactly, you get it. Now go enjoy your hobnobbing, and if they get too boring, then take them for ransom. It's great, Batman hardly interferes, and he's the richest man in Gotham. Oh my god, is he not anymore? Not quite, but Gomez is working hard to try and lose enough money to reinstate him. That is so interesting. Well, if he would like to give some to me, then that, that could work. Oh, absolutely. How much do you want? Uh, I've never been in a situation like this before. I'll get back to you. Can I ask, though, how are you and Gomez? What do you mean? We're each other's soulmates. Yeah, no, I know. I mean more like that whole pain and violence thing. Like, does he ever go too far with that? I'm not sure I understand. A few moments later. Patricia, darling, we better be off for that dinner. I'll meet you there, love. I have to go kill a clown. Oh, okay, sounds good. I'll take the children with me. I don't understand what's so hard for you to understand. Bruce, you called me here all the way from Bloodhaven so that I could have dinner with Damien's girlfriend's family? It's important to make a good impression. You hate people. Also, he's 12. He's only hobnobbing like this because they're richer than him. That is not true. I am trying to see if they're a danger to our community. Because they're richer than you? No, because they've been meeting with all of the villains and they kind of look like villains themselves. Oh, so we're profiling now. In Bruce's defense, they are very weird. I like the kid though, Pugsley. Guy's not scared of shit. They are obsessed with the concepts of darkness and pain and fear. So are you. Bruce is trying to say that they're goth. Oh, okay, then I repeat what I said. So are you. Hey, also, where's Tim? Like, I understand we don't want Damien to know that we're sussing out his in-laws. In-laws? He's 12, Bruce. Tim is on assignment. You have Tim investigating the family of Damien's girlfriend because they're goth? What part of meeting with all of the villains did you not understand? Don't you also hang out over there, like, sparring with the dad? I appreciate a good sparring part. That has nothing to do with that man's famous hypocrisy aside. What meetings are you even talking about? They paid off Mr. Freeze. Good. Did that work? Is he done with crime? Why didn't we try that? Because we didn't have the money? Oh, right, because he's rich. Enough! I know how much money he has, and he assures me he's trying to lose enough to keep me as the richest man in Gotham. What? You see, there is something up with them. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like they're just us if we lived our truths instead of hiding behind masks. Oh, is that why you hate them? Just because they show you that you never actually had to put on the mask? You'd have just been a rich, eccentric, dark, and morbid guy who actually got farther in this town? That is a ridiculous assertion. Excuse me, gentlemen. I regret to inform you that Madame Morticia will be late to tonight's gathering. She has recently put the Joker in the hospital. Well, you don't fucking say. That's enough. Just have your eyes open tonight, okay? Thank you, Alfred. Alfred, my dear man, it's great to see you. I'm afraid my wife is going to be a tad late because we already know, Mr. Adams. Oh, right, of course, you must have some sort of police scanner. No, we have a Tim. Excuse me? Yes, Jim, you heard me right. Turn off the signal. The woman who put the Joker in the hospital is coming to my house. I will explain later. Just trust me, okay? Yeah, yeah, kisses. Love you. Bye. Gomez! Oh, hello, Mr. Wayne. 
It's good to finally meet you. Me? No, you've been over to the house many times. I assure you I don't know what you mean. Ah, oh, yes, of course, because you are not the bat. Well, I guess you'll have to meet most of my family a little later in the evening, because right now the Adams have come stag. The women will be joining us later. Yes, I heard they were a little preoccupied. Yes, well, Grandmama is doing whatever she does. Morticia's dealing with a clown, and Young Wednesday, I believe, is coming in with your son. Have they arrived yet? Yes, I believe the little lovebirds are in the dining room. Fantastic, I'll have to go and see them. Though I do want to ask, does this little charade of yours mean that we can't dine in that glorious cave you have? I'm sorry, a cave? I don't know what you're- yeah, fuck it, sure. Mr. Hood. Shit. Hey, you pugs, you're quiet, you know that? I know. Mother says it's one of my most meddlesome attributes. That sounds like high praise. How's your day been, kid? Pretty good. Been stretched out on the rack for most of it, so I'm pretty loose now. I assume that's not an expression or anything? What would it be an expression for? Nothing, never mind. Hey, did I ever tell you the story of how I, like, actually died? Wait, like, for real? Yeah, I got my head bashed in, was buried six feet deep, the whole shebang. That is amazing! What did it feel like? Tell me everything! Oh, can do. Also, remind me, when your mother gets here, I have to give her a hug. I'm not sure she'd enjoy that. Wait a minute, I'm lost. Is that good or bad? Hello, I'm Richard Grayson, but a lot of people just call me Dick. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. People can be very cruel. Oh, no, yeah, it's like a Nick... Never mind. What's your name? Uncle Fester. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay, so you're Wednesday's uncle. I'm certainly somebody's uncle. Okay? Gomez and I have cooked up quite the dance that we're gonna do for you and your family in your little cave. You know about the cave? Of course! It's one of the reasons I came. Wednesday speaks very highly of it. Wednesday's been in the cave? This dance we're gonna do is gonna be really something else. You're gonna love it. It actually saved my life once. It saved your life? Really? Well, yes, because I lost my memory at the time and I was turning into a real asshole and going by a different name. Wait a minute, what that exact thing happened to me? Huh, well, Gomez, I apologize, but I really don't know where the children could have gone off to. Well, if I know my Wednesday, she's probably off exploring that fantastic cave of yours. You really don't need to be so vocal about that, and- Is that walking pile of hair with you? Oh yes, that's my cousin, It. What? It. Sure, whatever, who am I to judge one of my sons is a starfish? I would love to meet that one! No, I- yeah, alright, to the cave. Hello, my dear. I don't mean to disturb you. I just wanted to say real quick that I absolutely adore your outfit. All of that black leather. And is that a whip? Oh, hello. Yes, it is. And thank you very much. I quite like yours as well, even with all of the, um, blood kicked on it. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. I think it adds a nice natural highlight, you know, though I will admit not all of it was purposeful. I was recently dealing with a clown. Oh, wait a minute. Are you Morticia Adams? Last time I checked my gravestone. Pleasure to meet you, madam. Catwoman. Though, at this point, I think you can just call me Selena Kyle. I think we're going to the same engagement. You're on your way to Wayne Manor. I should be. It's where my husband lives. You're married to the bat. Uh, in, a, in a manner of speaking. Well, that is fantastic. I believe my little Wednesday has recently taken up a connection with your Damien. Oh, he's not. Um, that's, that's a whole situation. Oh, I'm sorry. You and Bruce adopt. Yes. Well, Bruce does, and I think he might be addicted to it. How many children do you have? Let's see, there's the annoying one, the dark one, the demented one, the fast food restaurant, then like a bunch of children who have their own lives but always seem to be at our house. Oh, and the starfish. Which, which one of those is Damien? The demented one. Oh, how delightful. And the starfish? He lives in a jar. I'll show you when we get there. Absolutely amazing. So I take it you are a big fan of children? Of course. If you don't mind me saying, it's a bit of a strange sentiment to hear from a woman caked in blood. Oh, I quite disagree. You know, I would have brought Little Wednesday along with me. She really would have enjoyed it, but it's rude to be late to a party that's thrown in your honor and... There's a giant bat in the sky now. Oh, yeah, that means they found the Joker's body. We better be off. Right, of course. Now, Selena, I hope it's not too bold of me to ask, but that whip of yours, do you and Bruce have several times a day? This is quite the beautiful cave, but are you sure it's not a problem that I'm down here? What? Oh, no. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I wouldn't tell father, but it is his cave and I am the blood son, so it was gonna belong to me eventually anyway. What do you mean? Oh, you know, like after he dies, presumably in a very dark and grisly way. But why would it belong to you? Well, because he'd be dead and all of the rest of the family are idiots. Oh, I see. So you're talking about the interim before he comes back to life. No, I'm talking about- Yeah. Will all of these treasures be yours as well? I mean, I guess technically, but I don't really want them. What's the point of keeping a souvenir from an enemy you didn't even kill? So do you have better treasures? Oh yes, a whole bunch. I mean, I did before my father made me get rid of them for his stupid no-killing rule. Who would have a ban against killing? You know, you get me. Damien, I have been looking all over for you. What are you doing in the cave? Oh shit. Hello, I'm Wednesday Adams. Can I ask, why did you take the glorious black bat suit and make it lighter? Okay, first of all, I'm Batgirl. Second of all, purple is better. And third of all, I will get to you in a second, little goth girl. Damien, what are you doing? I am just showing Wednesday around. 
The Bat Cave? Is this some kind of mind control? I mean, sort of. We formed a romantic connection. You can have romantic connection? I'm trying new things. Damien, who is this? This is Barbara. She's the annoying one's girlfriend, and also sometimes my dad's. Excuse me? No, that's a, that's unfair. It's a whole situation, but look, you two really can't be down here. Oh, would you calm down, Wicked Witch of the East? Is that a wheelchair crack, you little rat? Bold of you to assume I've even seen Wicked. Now, if you must know, we're here because my father is throwing a party for us. Your father told my father to turn off the signal for the first time ever because he's attending a party? Well, wait, a party, actually. It's the meetings of the Waynes and the Adams. Who are the Adams? I am. Where have you been, woman? Also, who knows why the bat does anything he does? I assume he's just paranoid and thinks the Adams are gonna hurt someone at tonight's event. Well, little girl, is your family gonna hurt anyone at tonight's event? Only if there's time. Why was the signal on in the first place? Somebody beat the Joker pretty much near death. Near? My mother must have been interrupted. Your mother did that? Well, see, there's your answer. There's no need for the signal. She's coming to the party anyways. Which reminds me, we should probably head upstairs. We're gonna miss the hors d'oeuvre. What are we having? Fried bat, obviously. What else? Oh, how positively horrible. I can't wait. Hey, Bat Boy, what the hell do you think you're doing? Bruce, you didn't tell me you had a disgruntled uncle. Nice to meet you. I'm Gomez Adam. Excuse me? That's enough. Gomez, would you mind taking the hors d'oeuvres down to the cave? The cave? I just, g give me a second. Sure thing, old friend. Now, what are we serving? Oh, the fried bat. How horrendous. Bruce. One second, Jim. Let me know if you need a hand, Gomez. Oh no, it shouldn't be a problem. I brought my own thing. Okay, you have three seconds to explain. Okay, first of all, I knew they would go for it. Second of all, it's an actual delicacy. I'm not just that obsessed with theming. I, what are you talking about? The fried bat. Bruce, you told me to turn the signal off. Do you know what that looks like? The villains are gonna have a field day. Oh, you're worried about that? Yes, as you should be too. No, cause that should be fine. I have the unwitting leader of most of the villains over for dinner. Yeah, I can see that apparently I've crashed a party. I'd hardly call it crashing. I thought you might stop by. What? I plan for contingencies, Jim. That's kind of my thing. Well, Mr. Big Shot, was one of the contingencies you planned for my men barely stopping a woman from killing the Joker tonight before she fled off with your wife? I do have an answer. I don't think you're gonna like it. You planned for that. You're just okay with it? Of course not, Jim, but as you said, she fled with my wife. Now, they should both be here soon, so why don't you go down to the cave and wait for them? All right, Bruce, stop screwing around. What is going on here? It's the Adams family. da 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 what the hell? Interesting. So neither of the parts are purposeful. What just happened? This is what I'm saying. This family is throwing everything out of whack. Surely you've heard about them. People have complained. No, literally no one's ever mentioned them. Are they weird? Are they? Yes, clearly. But like, weird for Gotham? Let's see. They're obsessed with the dark and the morbid and they find pain and fear fun. So not that weird for Gotham then. I, are you serious? They also just kind of sound like you. Do they also live in a mansion? Well, I don't that has to do with anything, but yes, they have the one on the graveyard. That sounds even more like you. Okay, just go to the cave for me, please. I have the whole situation under control. Just wait there until his wife and my wife show up, and then we can confront them. Can we also talk about how your wife is a genuine supervillain? Jim, I don't have time for this. Just please go to the cave. Why are we even eating in the cave? What kind of secret identity is that? It's perfectly reasonable. It's just, it's hard to hide things from them. Excuse me? Damn it, Jim, they're endearing. What do you want me to say? Do you really think there might be a danger to our city? Possibly, but they might also be the greatest asset we've ever had. Things we can find out at dinner. So if you would please go to the cave, I think your daughter's already down there. Fine, but I want to hear you say it. Say what? You know what? You're a damn good cop, Jim. And? And I love you. I love you too, buddy. Now! Alright, fried bat. Weird. How can there be more people coming to this? No way in hell. Hi, Bruce. Stop! Not used to being on the receiving end of that, are you, Bats? John, how did you even- I'm Jean Constantine. I don't need to abide by pesky things like the rules of reality. Now, I parked my house outside. I hope that's not a problem. What are you doing here, John? I'm in the middle of a very delicate situation. Yes, I heard you were throwing a party with my friends and didn't even bother to invite me. Did you say friend? Is that John Constantine I see? Uncle Fester, you sultry devil. How are you, Bats? Oh, I'm fantastic. This city is abysmal, John. It's so lovely. I thought you might like it. Now, how's the nephew? As dark and twisted it as always. Right, right. And who is the nephew? Somebody, I'm sure. I was this close to getting ya. I'm sorry to interrupt, but how do you two know each other? We play cards together. I was this close to winning the House of Mysteries. 
This one cheated. You cheated. You poisoned a man. That's not cheating. It was just a good bit of fun. He enjoyed it. Nobody enjoys getting poisoned. I do. Oh, then I hope you have a very miserable dining experience tonight. Oh, thank you. Sorry to interrupt again, but John, you better get going before dinner. Oh, are you not staying for the feast? Well, I mean, I'd certainly like to if our mutual friend... Oh, come on, Batman, please. Fester! Oh, I'm sorry. Is that the one we're not supposed to call you, or is that Bruce? It's okay, Fester. I know him by both names already. That's impossible. Oh, please, Bruce. The only thing protecting your identity now is that there's a second more goth billionaire in Gotham. Fine, John. You can stay. I'll tell Alfred to prepare another plate. All right, see, thank you very much. So I will say, I'm not going to eat anything weirdly thematic like fried bat or something? Now, Fester, where are the children? Wednesday's off with her new romantic connection. Interesting. I think Pugsley's hanging out with the dead Robin. You mean the red Robin? I don't know. Is that the tall one with lots of angst? No, that's Jason. My apologies, you were right. Alright, we'll let the children stay with their friends. Where are the rest of the family? Gomez and Thing are downstairs setting up the table. Morticia's running late because she was attempting a murder. Naturally. And Grandmama's in the kitchen. Grandmama is here. I'll have to go say hello to the old witch. I think she might still be a good bit mad at you about the whole situation. Oh, I would imagine so. Now, which way is the kitchen? Hello, everybody. So sorry we're late. I was dealing with a clown. Morticia, my darling, how splendid. The lack of your presence has made this party awfully too pleasant. Now, we're just about to sit down for food. This gruesome little fried bat. Excuse me, Mr. Gomez? Calm down, Alfred. He means it as a compliment. Oh, yes, I do absolutely love how despicably bad it is. Hmm, my mistake. Mother, I thought I heard you a voice. How did it go? Now Wednesday, how many times have I told you a lady never tortures and tells? I'll tell. It looked amazing. I saw her stumbling away just covered in blood. Oh, how nice. I really wish I could have been there. Yes, me too. For the record, I also would have liked to see it, maybe even helped out. Well, next time I will make sure to send out an invitation. No, because there will not be a next time. You're going away, lady. Going away where? Arkham Asylum, if you're lucky. Oh, I've been there. It's fantastic. Would it be possible to get a couple's pass? What? No, you're gonna hate it. Well, it sounds lovely. Gordon, give it a rest. I'm an actual supervillain and I'm standing right here. I am not happy about that either. Gordon. Buddy, it's okay. Calm yourself. Neither of these two women have to go away. Happening to be married to eccentric billionaires does not keep you out of prison. Well, that doesn't even sound like the truth. They're okay with this. Really, the Dark Knight of Gotham. Ooh, now that's an interesting title. I don't like knights. They kill innocent dragons. Have no fear, child. I assure you the dragons I kill are not innocent. Wait a minute, so are you killing things? I thought we weren't allowed to do that. Speaking metaphorically, rug rat, trust me, if that rule changed, I would have been the first to know about it. Bruce, stop trying to impress the children and tell me why you're okay with that woman going free. Because, Jim, it was the Joker and he lived and that's the important part. Yeah, that's the important part. I'm done with this. I'm gonna go get drunk with Dick and Barbara. Also, I'm sure that after battling the Joker, Morticia's had her fill of suffering for the night. Oh no, I could never be full of suffering. How did you do it? How did you beat the Joker? Well, honestly, with ridiculous ease. I don't know if you two knew this, but he is just a clown. He's susceptible to all the normal kinds of pain. My little Pugsley could have held up better under torture. Well, that seems like a bit of an exaggeration. Oh, we could find out! Oh, I believe it. You all should really see this woman in action. Oh, I have, and it is terrifying and tremendous. Thank you, darling. Now, with that matter settled, I believe there was the promise of food? Yes, there was. Now I can't believe what I'm about to say, but to the Batcave! Bruce, I'm glad I found you. We need you at headquarters now. This isn't really a great time. Why didn't you call? I can be anywhere I want in the world in moments. Why would I ever call? And what do you mean it's not a good time? No, it's just that I'm in the middle of a hole. It's fine. Just tell me what's wrong. Oh, it's like dark side or something. It doesn't matter right now. What's going on in there? Uh, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Are you throwing a party? No, no it's a slight gathering with this new family in town. Wait a minute, that's the house of mystery. You invited John Constantine and not me? I didn't invite John, he just happens to be a friend of the other family. I'm your friend. We are teammates. Okay, I know you don't actually mean that, but this is exactly why I was against the rebranding. We should have stayed super friends. Now, I am going in there. I really can't let you do that. You're gonna stop me. Clark, how many times do we have to go over this? I will break out the kryptonite gas. Give me one reason I can't go to this party. I don't know, Clark. What would people possibly think if Superman started socializing with Bruce Wayne? Well, celebrities go to rich people's parties all of the time. Also, hold on. Did you forget about these? Hiding those doesn't matter. Now look, I'm good to go. We're still in costume. Then point me to your nearest phone booth. Bruce Old Sport, are you coming back anytime soon? Oh god damn it. Oh, hello there, citizen. Hello, are you a friend of Bruce's? I thought so. 
No, of course not. Superman is just over here congratulating me for all the good I've done for this city with my charitable donation. Oh, yes, of course. I'd only asked because I noticed you both were caped. What was that? I, yeah, fuck, I just, yeah, he knows. And what was all that shit you were giving me? So I was hoping not to have to explain any of this. Unbelievable. Now, hello there, my name's Superman, but I guess you can call me Clark Kent. Ah, great to meet you. My name's Gomez Adams of the Adams Family. Da -na -na -na. What? How come I had to do it? It's really better to just not ask questions, gentlemen. Now, Mr. Man, was it? You know, you look very much like a new house guest of mine, but sadly less deformed. Where did your father run off to? Oh, he's probably dealing with the big blue boy scout. Kind of like father, but also the opposite, and you wouldn't like him. He's very bright and cheerful. Sounds dreadful, and not in the good way. There are certainly a lot of people here. Oh yes, I think this got far out of his hands. What do you mean? Well, certainly you know that this whole thing has been a ruse. You mean that this is not to celebrate our new romantic connection? I mean, I'm sure it is in part, but more of it, I think, is my father trying to assess whether or not your family is vying for control of the city with the villain. Ah, fuck, how did you figure that one out, Damien? What, did you think that Tim was the only great detective to be a Robin? No, I just... Wait, did you just insult me and compliment yourself at the same time? Yes, one of the many skills that my grandfather taught me. He led a league of assassins, you know. Oh, that's amazing. Were you one of them? Star pupil. Fascinating. What are you children discussing over here? Uh, nothing. My father's plans to assess whether or not you and your husband were villains. Damien, you little rug rat. Grayson, we are currently having dinner in the Bat Cave. Don't you think the time for secrecy has passed us? Well, I think I can aid your father's query. I was having a conversation recently with Harley Quinn, and I believe that I am, in fact, a villain. I'm sorry, what? There you go. We solved it. How about you, Wednesday? Do you feel like you're a hero or a villain? I'd have to imagine villains are the more exciting. But I'm a hero! I thought you said you were an assassin. I, I mean, I am, but I'm also a hero. Is that why you have to wear red, green, and yellow? Well, yeah, but my father is a hero, and he wears black. But Bat is a hero. Uh, he dresses up in a big, elaborate costume and has themed adventures in the city at night. Is that not villain activity? Okay, well, when you put it like that way, I can see the confusion. But no, because villains hurt people, and heroes stop villains from hurting people. But I like hurting people. This is a very fun thing to do, and doesn't your father do it often? Well, yeah, but that's that's because he's beaten up the villain. This seems like an arbitrary distinction. It's not. Look, didn't you just get back from beating up the Joker? Why, yes, I did. Did you do that so you could take over as head of crime in the city? Well, no, I did it because he had harmed Harley and not in the fun way. Okay, see, that's hero activity. Interesting, so the heroes do get to still cause pain. Yes, justified pain. There is a limit. But yeah, you're not allowed to kill anyone, which is a rule that only I and the dead ones seem to understand as arbitrary itself. Interesting. Would I have to wear red, green, and yellow? Oh yes, I would never be caught alive in yellow. I mean, like, you, theoretically? Sure, but you're not an orphan, so that doesn't matter, and, um, you'll be fine, because traditionally, at least in this family, the older you get, the less colors you even have to wear in general. I see, but wait a minute, isn't your mother a villain? Oh yes, 100%, but she's actually not the one you met, that's a whole other thing. Ah, oh, Morticia, I'm so sorry I had to step away. Bruce was picking up a friend outside. That's okay, darling. I've just had a wonderful conversation here with Wednesday and the Robins and have come to the conclusion that we are not, in fact, villains. Oh, well, that's very good, because that's about what I already told the Penguin. I'm sorry, you made a decision on our stance without me? I have no fear, darling. It wasn't that important. He wasn't an actual penguin. You're right. What's important is that we are now all unified in our decision, so to being heroes. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Your plot to throw this party is a ruse to find out whether or not my family is a danger to the city. Right, right, and who spilled the beans about that? Little lover boy did. Who do you think? For the record, I still hold that there were not really any beans left to spill. That's alright, it's about time we had the don't spill bat secrets to your girlfriend conversation. All of your brothers have struggled with it too. My defense, my girlfriend became a bat. That's the opposite of a defense. Now, enough with the subterfuge. What was the verdict? Are you guys dangerous to the city or not? Evidently, we are not, old friend, but we do still like the dark and the macabre. And we appreciate many of the so called villains' company. And we still like causing pain. Yes, but only when it's justified, right, Dick? Yeah, that's right, and I'll explain later. Are they talking about them or you, Bats? Ha ha, what original comedy. Thank you very much, I'll be here all night. Now, it's nice to meet all of you other friends of Bruce's. My name is Clark Kent. Damn, seriously? I think you all have dropped the ball enough on the whole secret identity thing. We don't need to bother with it now. Oh, hello, it's nice to meet you. I will say you are looking quite... Bright. Oh, thank you very much. I'm talking about your costume, Clark, and thank you for that piece of information. Hi, I'm Morticia. Hello, Jean. How does it feel to be the third best wizard in the room? So you do agree that I'm better than the child? Only marginally. <laughs> it's always good seeing you. You're gonna take that? I don't argue when people are right. Wait, what about my suit? Nothing, it's just... Have you ever considered wearing black? I think you'd look dashing. 
They really are your friends, aren't they? They're really not. Of course we are. Why else would we have been invited to this glorious dinner party? It was a ruse. We, we just covered that. Yes, exactly. And what is more friendly than a convoluted plot to try and expose one another? And full disclosure. We should play full disclosure. Oh, that is a great idea. You're going to love this, Bats. Yeah, I don't even want to know what that is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say we don't have time, but thank you all for coming and let's do this again soon. Well, 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 Mr. Adams, did we sleep very well? Oh yes, like the dead. That's good to hear. You're going to need your strength for what's ahead. Oh, have I lucked into a fair bit of torture, Morticia, you sly devil? She did tell me she had a surprise. Now, what's your name, old friend? <laughs> I'm sure you would like to know, but as you will soon find out, answers are not given freely here, only questions. Very well, my friend, ask your question. An assassin locked in a prison of glass, invisible, undetectable, but can still surely make his victims pass. What is it? What was that last part? I said, what is it? Oh yes, my cousin. Uh, excuse me? My cousin, it. He's a member of the Adams family. Da -na -na -na. Your little tricks won't help you here. I'm sure you remember that when you left that fateful party last night, you were not alone. Right, right. If I remember correctly, then the women went off to form some sort of coven, and Fester went off with John, so it was just me and Pugsley leaving. Yes, poor little Pugsley, all alone and afraid. Oh, he'll love that. I, please stop interrupting. Now, perhaps you want to try my riddle again? Yes, of course. Sorry. Give it to me one more time. Oh, my God. Okay. An assassin trapped in a prison of glass, invisible, undetectable, but can still surely make his victims pass. Ah, it's poison. Yes. Poison, okay. But what sort of poison is it? I, it doesn't matter. Sure it does, because some poison is detectable. They have such pleasant aromas. Look, it doesn't matter. Poison is what's sitting in front of your little Pugsley right now. Oh, how wonderful. He'll love that too. I, okay, I give up. Are you bluffing or are you actually insane? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. You want me to feed your son poison? If it's not too much of an imposition, though I must ask again, what kind is it? I don't know. Hold on. Brent, what poison did you put in the kid's cup? And what am I doing? No, get out of here. Hey there, young child. How you feeling? Well, I've been through a fair bit of pain, so pretty good. Yeah, yeah, sorry about all that. But, you know, we're almost done. The boss man's over there interrogating your dad right now or asking him riddles or whatever it is he does. My name's Charlie... Nope, Kite Man. Call me Kite Man. Oh, are you one of the villains? Yeah, well, kind of. I'm what you call a C-lister, so right now I basically do goon work for major villains, but I do have my own costume, my own shtick. It's Kite's. I used to work for the Joker, but he's uh, preoccupied with being in the hospital. Oh, yes, my mother did that. Good for her. I would have done it myself, but, you know, employees... Employment's a hard thing to come by. So what exactly are we waiting for again? Oh, your dad's gotta answer some riddles and like give us money so we don't kill you. And I told the Riddler, I was like, I don't want to kill any kids, man. And he was like, when is a kite not gonna fly when it's been shot in the heart ten times? And I was like, that's not really a riddle. A game with the risk of violence. I'm sure my father will really love that. Oh, yeah, but hey, what are you doing? Oh, the man in the green suit left me this nice little glass of liquid and now I'm gonna drink it. That's the poison! Yes, I know, I could tell from the pleasant aroma. Do I have to wait till after my father gets the riddles right to drink it, or... No, look, you're not getting it. We're gonna make you drink that if he doesn't give us money. It's a hostage situation. Can I choose to drink it anyway? No, because then you'll be dead and we won't have any leverage. Well, that's not fair. He's gonna definitely give you money. He gives everyone money. You want to drink the poison? Did you hear the part about it killing you? Yes, stop reminding me if I can't do it. It is poison. Yeah, and it's my favorite kind. I, hold on, Brett, what do we do if the kid wants to drink the poison? 